Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this new crazy mother. Yo guys, what's up? This is Riding on Day 2 reporting all the way from India and I'm a Bengaluru. So hello all my lovely, beautiful subscribers. How are you all doing? <laughs> it's, it's so nice to get back into my helmet with my cameras on and guess what? Yes, I got a brand new pair of gloves. Well, a couple of pair of gloves and I got a new riding jacket. Yes, I invested on safety gears, guys, and that is the only reason why I'm back on YouTube. So, because earlier, well, even though I was making videos here and there, I was on R1 without safety gears, yes. I was a perfect douchebag. Oh my god, why did he even break like that? I was a 100% perfect douchebag, but still, you know, I couldn't resist the temptation of showing you guys how happy I was on my dream bike. So I just did that and still, you know, I kind of felt what I'm doing is not the right thing. Because it's like, I'm, I'm, sh what do you say, man? I'm running out of words. This is what happens when you don't do things that you love on a regular basis. <laughs> So you're just trying to show the world, you're just spreading really wrong information around that is kind of, you know, really not a good thing. So finally, yeah, I'm back on YouTube. And now I have a pretty good plan in place where, you know, I thought uh, since earlier I used to use company transport, now I'm planning to use my own transport from traveling from home to work and work to home. Oh my god, I swear to god, why does this happen each and every single time I want to make a video? Alright, so there we go. Um, what is it trying to say? Yeah. Um, now I have a pretty good plan where I'm traveling from home to work, work to home on my bike. And that way I have a lot of time while I'm traveling I can make motor vlogs. So I'm planning to carry my camera each and every day. And let's see how that's gonna work out and after my work when I head back home I have around two or three hours time which I'm gonna utilize for making I'm sorry editing editing the video that is what I've been planning and uh, here I am even though I I mean I thought let me start it from today but unfortunately I forgot to take my camera in the morning so after work there's post work it's around 7.30 in the evening right now and I thought let me just make a video just like a quick comeback on information on <sighs> guys just give me a moment I need to pick this call up <laughs> yeah so well the call is done I'm back on track and guess what? I have full tank of fuel. <laughs> I guess no one saw that ever in my videos. Uh, well, lately I just made it a habit to fill my bike up full tank and completely empty it out like until it comes to reserve and then fill it up so that it at least saves some time and uh, and another major reason why I actually fill her up completely is because I have my tank bag. I have a lot of things to, uh, you know, uh, show you guys or review or explain or, you know, uh, suggest to you guys in terms of riding gears because lately I invested a lot. Not a lot, but I invested a good amount of money on safety gears, but I didn't go like full-fledged like 30-40 grants. But I uh, bought all the safety gears on a budget, which I'm gonna, uh, you know, show you guys. Let me just start off with my all-time favorite Cramster gloves. This is something that I love. This is one of the best gloves I could say in the market. Well, I love the previous one, but uh, this one is also not bad. This is a Cramster blaster. That is what they call it, I believe. Let me take a left in here. Alright, this is a Cramster Blaster and the one that I'm wearing is size small but even though it's size small, I kind of feel it's size medium because the earlier version was a snug fit and this is not that snug but still it's comfortable. 
so this is a all leather gloves you don't even think of using it in rain because i have a bad experience where i had to dry uh, dry the gloves for two full days so never ever use any kind of leather in rain not a good idea nice romancing in the street wow what an acceleration anyways so what is it telling yeah never ever think of using a uh, leather gloves in rain at least not this one because it's really bad in rain and i spent about 2900 on this like bang for the buck you, i kind of feel you can't get anything better than this correct me if i'm wrong or if you have a better suggestion just post it in the comment section so that you know i can check it out the next time i'm going to buy a gloves well so far i've been using her for about one month uh, the leather is like properly broken down it's uh, it's molded to my hand shape my palm shape and i feel really comfortable the feedback is really good earlier uh, for those of you who ridden ktm you know that the feedback is really hard like each and every stone hits on your palm uh, very hard that's what i feel maybe i'm weak i don't know <laughs> so it hits on your palm really hard that kind of hurts sometime this gloves dampens all those you know shock hits on your hand because it's got this uh, uh, what's that sponge thing near your palm uh, let me show you i'm just going to show you all these things in a while so it's got the sponge thing that's uh, near the palm which dampens the uh, you know uh, which dampens all the hard feedback that's coming uh, from the handlebar it's not dampening completely uh so that you know you don't feel anything at all but it dampens enough so that you know you can have a comfortable ride and also have a good feel on your bike so that is one of the good feature it's leather it looks good it feels good you have all kind of armor the knuckle uh the knuckle guard it's got all these i don't know whether they're plastic or fiber things that goes and let me take a u turn that goes near all the joints so that you know in case of a crash your joints stay safe that is one of the weakest parts of our body most of them know and uh, and another major thing no two more major things is the fit as i said you it's not a uh, it's not the same like earlier where small used to be an actual small gloves and medium used to be the medium but right now small is medium and medium is maybe it's large that's for uh, i've experienced on this gloves and apart from that yeah the stitching the stitching is good but not that great uh let me start with the uh, comfort part of the stitching where you know uh, when i mean when i say comfort part i mean the stitching that goes all around the gloves the earlier version had the stitching outside but you know all these leftovers used to be outside the gloves but right now it is inside i'm going to show you everything uh maybe in a better lighting or maybe i might uh, head back home and i'm going to show you uh, all those things i kind of feel that is a good idea all right then uh, see you guys in my home in just a moment boom oops sorry wrong angle All right, there we go. I'm back home. So those are the gloves that I've been talking to you about, guys. And don't get freaked out. That is my mobile phone that's making the noise, as always. So the stitch that I was talking about. Okay, let me just exp uh, show you the gloves first. This is how the gloves looks. And when you wear it. There we go. It's a snug fit, not too tight, but a little loose. You can see it in here. As I said, you, the size small is not small anymore. It's size medium. That's what I feel. So you have the armors here. You have the protectors here. You don't have anything for your pinky finger. You have cushioning here. Maybe I don't know what this is for. For those of you who know, you know. And this is the one that I was telling you about the. you know the dampening stuff when you're holding the handlebar where you don't get all the sharp 
uh, feedback from the bike it's not that hard on your hand so I kind of I kind of like that all right I was just talking to you about the stitches so I was talking about these stitches that is going inside the gloves earlier it used to be outside so that when your palm goes inside it doesn't poke your finger but right now it doesn't poke but it is still like a slight distraction yeah this is my room and I just had to change my visor because I plan to go out in the night which is night right now <laughs> in order to make the video that is one thing that they have changed which is a really wrong move and another thing that I saw is where did I throw that gloves it's here another thing is as you can see the stitches already coming out in here and there must be another place where the stitch has come out another one is it's it's little it's gonna come out for sure in there and apart from that yeah nowhere else as of now but I would say there's like a little too early because as I said yeah I just used it for a month and I don't know I just got a defective piece or whatever I'm gonna talk to the seller really soon that's all I would like to say about the gloves and uh, yeah in my upcoming videos I'm gonna make a review on the jacket that I'm wearing right now and also I got another pair of the winter gloves which are really good so I'm gonna talk about that in the next videos I don't wanna throw everything right now so that you know this video will get prolonged or I won't have anything to talk about in my next videos so that's it guys that's all for now don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and do hit the comment section and throw whatever you want to throw at me make sure it's good <laughs> and see you guys in the next video oh, it's dirty anyway